Did you know that 1 in 10 people worldwide suffer from chronic kidney disease? And what's more shocking is that some of the medications we take every day without a second thought could be silently damaging our kidneys. That's right. While medications are essential for treating various health conditions, they can sometimes have unintended side effects, especially on our kidneys. The better pills that heal can also harm if not used carefully. So, in this video, we'll explore some common types of medications that can damage our kidneys and discuss how you can protect yourself from these risks. Jodos of the FarmD here, welcome and please like and subscribe to the channel. Number 1. NSAIDs Now, NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are a class of medications commonly used to relieve pain, reduce inflammation, and lower fever. They include those popular medications like ibuprofen and naproxen that we often reach for when we are dealing with headaches, muscle pain, or even a fever. But here's the thing, while they may be your go-to for pain relief, they can have some serious side effects, especially when it comes to your kidneys. You see, NSAIDs work by reducing the production of substances in your body that cause inflammation and pain. But they also reduce blood flow to your kidneys. Now, this usually is not a problem if you use NSAIDs less often and in the right doses. But if you're taking them regularly, in high doses, or for a long time, it can lead to kidney damage. And the scary part, this reduced blood flow can increase your risk of chronic kidney disease over time. So who should be more cautious? Well, the risk is higher if you already have kidney issues, age 65 and older, or regularly use NSAIDs to manage chronic pain. But here's what you can do to protect your kidneys. Try to use the lowest dose for the shortest possible time, and you may also want to consider alternatives like topical gels. For instance, diclofenic gel can be a great way to relieve pain locally without the same level of risk to your kidneys. Number 2. Antibiotics That's right, antibiotics are powerful medications designed to fight bacterial infections, making them essential in modern medicine. However, certain antibiotics, particularly aminoglycosides like gentamicin and tobramycin, can cause something called nephrotoxicity, simply means they have the potential to cause kidney damage. Now, why does this happen? Well, these antibiotics can accumulate in the kidneys, leading to acute kidney injury, especially when used at high doses or overextended periods. In fact, studies have shown that prolonged use of aminoglycosides significantly increases the risk of kidney damage, particularly if you already have kidney issues. That's why it's crucial for you and your doctor to monitor your kidney's functions more closely while you're taking these medications or any other powerful antibiotics. Number 3. Diuretics So what are diuretics? Well, simply put, diuretics are medications like hydrochlorothiazide and furosemide. These medications are often known as water pills because they help your body get rid of excess fluid, which makes them effective in treating conditions like hypertension and edema, where fluid retention causes swelling. But here's a catch. While the diuretics are effective in reducing fluid buildup, they can cause your body to lose too much fluid or salt and disrupt the balance of essential electrolytes such as sodium and potassium. You see, when this happens, your kidneys may not receive enough blood flow to function properly. Potentially, this can lead to kidney damage, especially if the medication is used for too long or incorrectly. Now, this risk is even higher for those with existing kidney issues. So the key is for you and your doctor to monitor your kidney's function regularly if you are taking diuretics. Number 4. Proton Pump Inhibitors PPIs These medications include omeprazole and pentoprazole. They are widely used to treat conditions like acid reflux and stomach ulcers. 
You see, they work by blocking the enzymes in your stomach that produces acid, which helps prevent that nasty burning feeling we all hate. But here's the thing, while PPIs are usually safe for short-term use, it's important to be cautious if you are taking them for extended periods. In fact, recent studies have linked long-term PPI use to an increased risk of kidney damage, including conditions like acute interstitial nephritis and chronic kidney disease. In simple terms, these are serious conditions where your kidneys become inflamed or gradually lose their ability to filter waste from your blood. Now, I know what you're thinking. What shall I do? Well, first off, if PPIs are absolutely necessary for you, it's important to take them exactly how your doctor recommends. But if possible, try to avoid using them long term. Remember, you are in charge of your health and that means you must protect your kidneys. Number 5. Contrast Agents Now, if you have ever heard your doctor mention contrast agents, you may have thought, okay, no big deal, and for most people, it is not. But here's something important we all need to understand. While these agents can be helpful for imaging, they can sometimes be rough on our kidneys. Let me explain. Contrast agents are special dyes used in medical imaging such as CT scans and MRIs. They help make your organs, blood vessels and tissues more visible. But here's the catch. Although these dyes are crucial for detailed imaging, they can pose a risk to your kidneys, leading to a condition called contrast-induced nephropathy. This is when the kidneys get damaged after using these agents especially in people who already have kidney issues or are dehydrated. Now, I know this sounds a bit scary, but one of the simplest things you can do to minimize this side effect is to stay hydrated. So make sure to drink plenty of water before and after the procedure. Now, let's be clear. These medications are not evil. They can be effective when used correctly. But like all medications, they come with potential risk. So the key is to use them wisely and always keep your kidneys in mind. And here's the deal. If you notice symptoms such as blood in the urine, a noticeable change in urinary frequency, and lower back pain, seek medical attention right away. In addition to what we have already discussed, other medications that could potentially affect your kidneys include AC inhibitors like lisinopril, as well as antibiotics like vancomycin and certain HIV medications. And there you have it. Remember, knowledge is the key that unlocks the doors to a healthier and happier you. Thanks for watching.